what's up traders seven signs you are a trading genius you even don't know it smash the like button now guys today in this video i'll show you what are the signs you should look inside you to find the trading genius within you nobody born genius we all learn you know i even don't know who is this guy but he told the truth genius are not born they are made so either you find these seven signs within you or not you can develop this character you can develop these traits within you to nurture the inner genius guys most people will tell you what they can offer you but very few will tell you what genius within you so today this video watch till the end i will show you what are the signs the trading genius carry within them so that you can resonate with the signs or you can develop this character to become a genius as a trader to become a professional successful trader that you are dreaming every single day for those who don't know me i am forex wizard the wizardry including live analysis and the strategies that you will find in this channel will change the way you trade don't forget to subscribe press that bell notification and also follow me on instagram forex.wizard2021 with that said let's straight jump onto it so the first sign that you are a trading genius you treat trading not as a business but as a game you're saying what are you talking about are you crazy is that your problem yeah, you want to see crazy I'll tell you <laughs> You need to always think differently. Let me show you why you should treat trading not as a business but as a game. But if you treat as a business, you might be losing money. And that's why you see that majority of people lose money in trading because they don't know what is trading. They correlate trading as their you know regular everything they see in their life. Look at this one here. Let's say you treat trading as a business then what is the problem now when you do a business say imagine that you have an apple shop okay now you are a business owner of this apple shop now you wanna do a business with the apple so what you will do say for example today the apple price is ten dollar right be attentive this is super important you need to understand what it is tomorrow apple price is eight dollar okay after tomorrow apple price is six dollar right so as a businessman what you will do the more the apple price is dropping the more you will buy right because when you buy the lowest price you can bring it to your you know house or you know in the shop bring the apple with six dollar okay and then sell it with higher price say eight dollar ten dollar because the apple price is low so you buy right that's the business now why trading is it different now think about trading let's say today euro usd in this position okay this is the level for euro usd let's say 1.6 now tomorrow euro usd 1.5 right after tomorrow euro usd 1.3 next day euro usd 1.2 now this is the most trader makes the mistake they always buy from the bottom like that trade that treat pardon me they treat trading as a business so the same way they buy the apple when the price is low everyone buy from the bottom 
but the trading is different you need to sell the lower low and buy the higher high that's why the most trader cannot think differently look at this way say when you see that euro dollar is dropping 1.6 1.5 1.3 what you see a trend this is a trend and when you see a trend what you have learned that when you see a trend follow the trend so the trend is down and then you will be selling euro dollar in trading but in normal business what are you gonna do you buy when the price is low and that's why trading is a game now why you think that trading is a game now, let me show you why trading is a game now let's say you are watching a game let's say team a and then team b okay now it's a one hour game after say 55 minutes what you have seen that team a scored one goal let's say it's a soccer game team b scored let's say nine goals okay now who will be betting ask yourself this question who you will be betting now you will be betting team a or team b definitely team b right who has the scored more is going to win the similar way that euro dollar when it is falling the more value it has dropped the more chance it is dropping more in the game the more score it has done the chances of winning is more similarly trading is the more the price is dropping the more chance of dropping the more the price is rising the the more chance of rising and that is trading right but don't take it you know 100 percent trading is a game but it's a game of probability you need to know the proper risk management you need to know how to develop proper trading system now if you don't know how to do that risk management i have a complete dedicated video on risk management i will link it above and also i'll put a link in the description you can watch them this is the most important part you need to know as a trader sound interesting now let's jump on to the next sign that you are a genius as a trader the sign number two making money is more important for you than being right this is the trap the most traders fall you don't fall into this trap i know that you will be able to overcome this problem now look this is ego now this is the biggest problem that we all have why because we are conditioned we are conditioned by family by the society to be always right we are insulted when we make mistake we are rewarded when we you know uh, follow the rules so what happened we develop a sense of ego of being right so when we are wrong in any part of our life as a whole we get offended now if you are being offended when you are wrong then this reflect in our trading as well so we always want to be right but as a matter of fact a trader is wrong more time then he is right or she is right so if you want if you are a successful trader any successful trader are accept their mistakes all the time and trading is like that but when a trader is right he take the most advantage and he take all the losses he made including his profit but the problem is as we have developed ego we want to be right and when we are not right we are offended and then we sabotage so when you are a trader that means the genius trader that don't care either they're wrong 
all right look when i trade you know you will see when you see my analysis you will see that sometimes i switch the sides very quickly that's that's trading the market may change at any point one candle creating series of higher high higher higher suddenly you will see a drop a big drop a reversal pattern when the price reverse there is nothing to do is reverse so i change my side every trader need to change their side at any point if they want to be profitable and there is nothing wrong with this but we are told that you have to be you know committed promise but in trading no you need to change your mind when the market change its mind so that is trading okay genius trader are not afraid to accept their mistake and they are not afraid to be wrong so that is the, the goal of this trading is to make money and that is that that is the most important part of our business right so make sure you develop this trade let go of ego be with the market whatever the market is doing you need to accept it smash the like button now let's see what is the third sign now the third sign that you are a trading genius is you see the bigger picture rather than focusing on a single trade or on a single trade this is super important guys when i started my trading you know um i tried to take oh i got a winner very very happy i got another winner wow very happy and next one i got a loser and i lost all the motivation all the hoops and i fall like oh my god what am i doing why i lost all this money like crazy like this so you need to be very very you know uh focused and you have to look at the bigger picture guys see one trade one day is not important the the most important part is what you are gaining over the long term what is skill you are developing okay because chance that in seven days you lose money three days that's not a problem but when you make money in one day you make a big one and you cover everything that's the game of trading okay so you need to see the bigger picture look at say let's say you lost you know one trade two trades so don't look at it see think about after one year three years five years okay what will be your trading account let's you talk to yourself you know spend some time alone and then ask yourself okay i have lost one trade two trades no matter after one year my trading account will be double triple so no matter what i can lose some money in the first day second day or at some point in my trading journey that's okay that's a part of the game but don't lose hope always when you focus on the bigger picture then nothing can put you down that is very very important let's see what is the fourth sign you should look for as a genius trader the fourth sign is you prefer being late in the game rather than coming early sound weird right everyone told you come early be attentive be punctual it's not applicable in trading that's why people lose money you know the trader tom he said that a uh, normal doesn't make money in this market a big shout out for him he smashed the like button now he said the truth because normal always think normally and when you think normally everyone think normally and that's why everyone lose money but to become a trader you need to think differently now listen what i mean by this you prefer being late in the game rather than coming early see i saw that many experienced trader also you know uh, suffer from this problem getting in the trade early you have to be patient the more late you are the better it doesn't mean that you will always you know miss all the trade it's not the case you have to wait for the perfect 
there is no perfect setup but you need to wait for the the setup that you want to trade and that is the most important part of the game wait for all the news release wait for whatever condition you want to happen you know i know in my journey also and i have seen many of my students also do this mistake many of the experienced trader do this mistake that they cannot wait oh my god the trade is going fomo 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 that's the the worst part of the game mate fomo we fear we're missing out something oh my god i'll miss this trade wait 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 until you get the bread okay until you get you set up and then get in the trade get the money get out when you need it but do not be impatient patience is the is the most 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 important quality of a trader so if you are being late in trading then chances that you are a trading genius okay now let's see what is the fifth sign that you are a trading genius enjoying guys then drop a comment below smash the like button some people think that you are sometimes irrational sound weird right the, all these facts are weird in fact that's what you have to be as a trader being different standing out from the losing trader becoming a profitable trader let them think that you are irrational to be a trader means to be irrational you need to think sometime very very irrationally everyone will think oh the trade the, the price you know uh, broke the trend line now it's testing the trend line wow it's gonna be a breakout what if it is a false breakout think irrationally everyone is going long you are going short that's what the genius trader is they know what is the sentiment of the crowd rather than just looking at a candlestick pattern guys in the market you will see the more false breakout than a real breakout so you need to think sometime irrationally sometime crazily to beat the market okay when you need it so let people think that you are irrational be irrational when you need it what is the sixth sign that you are a genius trader you don't feel bored to be bored what does it mean you know that boredom is the worst feeling one can ever had you know there is an experiment i have seen a couple of years ago i i just have forgotten his name but there was a guy was put in a small room without anything like no tv no books nothing and he was uh, locked in this room for a very long time intentionally and in this room there is only one switch if you touch the switch then you will have an electric shock so what happened after a certain period of time he was feeling very very bored and he tried to touch the switch as soon as he touched the switch he got a shock so after a couple of minutes he goes again and then he touched it again after a couple of minutes again he goes again he touched it again see what boredom is that he is touching the switch and getting shocked by the electric but he knows it still he is doing the same thing and that is the boredom like he don't want to he don't want to get a shock rather than feeling bored and that is what boredom is and as a trader you need to absorb it now genius trader are those who can absorb the boredom so that they can gain the money they can achieve their goal when their times come so as a trader you need to be able to feel the boredom without any resistance so that means that you are a genius trader if you don't feel bored to be bored what is the seventh sign guys that you are a genius trader you are very good at letting go but most people unfortunately very bad at letting go 
not only in trading, in every area of life. You know, I am a bit more spiritual and in spirituality, more teaching is given on letting go. It's very important because our day-to-day -day life is always stressful, always hassle and you need to learn to let go. Otherwise, it will, you know, stuck in your head all day long you'll suffer you gotta put your past behind you look kid bad things happen and you can't do anything about it right right wrong when the world turns its back on you you turn your back on the world <laughs> in trading you'll always have a you know bad time some sometime you'll have a bad day sometime you'll have a good day but when you have a bad day you need to learn to let go even when you have a good day you need to learn to let go also because if you don't let go of bad day and refresh again then what will happen it will affect your overall trading when you have a good day let it go because otherwise you will be ungrounded you'll say okay this way i'm winning I take a big risk and then boom blow your account don't do that then how do you let go as a trader now letting go you need to do some kind of practice if you face difficulty in letting go if you after the trade if you had a bad trade and it affect your mood all day long it affect your family life personal life you know job life then you need to do something to let it go how do you do that do meditation is very very effective or any kind of prayers any kind of practice exercise proper breathing exercise will give you enough resistance enough strength to let go and that is the most important become new again forget everything whatever happened start as new all the time then you can persist in this game of probability I sincerely believe that you are going to be a genius as a trader not you are going to be you are a genius as a trader you just need to nurture this trade i really want you to become a successful professional trader before i wrap up i have just launched my book forex price section trading the link is below this video in description area you can download it for free in ebook format you just need an email address at the same time if you new in trading or even trading for some time i have a completely free also a to z trading video lessons you can access all of them you just need an email address completely for free thank you see you soon